Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to start correction of errors and starting from capitalization. You have <coughs> you have already done the correction of uh, parts of speech, correction of uh, punctuation and you also know that uh, correction of uh, spellings can also be given in your paragraph. Uh, let's start from capitalization today. <coughs> it is a very common rule that uh, the beginning of the sentence is always capitalized. For example, the match ended in a draw. The first letter <coughs> of the sentence would always be capitalized. Next one, the first letter of a direct quotation needs to be capitalized. For example, uh, so far the T of the is concerned, the leader said. This is the first letter of the sentence, that is why it would be capitalized. But uh, as we are talking about the rule, the direct quotation will start. It is the direct quotation, this is the direct quotation, this is the narration, this is the dialogue of a person. Here, the first letter of the direct quotation would be capitalized whether it is a proper noun pronoun or whatever it would always be capitalized first little of a line of a poetry is capitalized for example to welcome the spring here two would t of two would be capitalized for example if there is another line of poetry given then you would also go for the first letter to be capitalized got it next so for proper noun pronoun and proper adjectives are concerned let's begin you know that uh, again it's a very simple uh, rule that all the proper nouns name of a person place is always capitalized always capitalized but let's begin from the pronoun so for the pronoun i is concerned uh, all the pronouns every whatever comes in the beginning of a sentence you know that it is capitalized but specifically uh, pronoun I. When we talk about this pronoun I as a subject, when uh, you uh, it, it the pronoun I, it is uh, uh, um, uh, it means that when it is uh, 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 linked with or it is associated with a person, then it would always be written in this way, in this way or in this way. Not you will not write it with point. It is completely wrong. So it is important that the I, uh, so far, uh, it is concerned with, this, um, uh, with the subject or uh, with the person. Uh, it with, will always be written in this way. Got it? Then proper adjectives. The Pakistanis, it is Pakistanis. The Pakistanis, Indians and Chinese. These are proper adjectives derived from the proper noun Pakistan, China and India. All the proper adjectives, the first letter would be written in the capital letter. For example, Pakistan, Pakistanis P capital, Chinese C capital, Indian I capital. Secondly, uh, you have already done this, but let me uh, make you recall that always article the is used with all the proper adjectives. So all the proper adjectives uh, will be written, first letter will be written with capital, uh, in capital letters, first letter will be written in capital letters and article the uh, you need to, um, needs to be there. Next one. Branches and units of armed forces. Branches and units of armed forces. All the armed forces. First letter capital Pakistan Army. Pakistan Navy. <coughs> Pakistan Air Force. First letter capital. Corps of Engineers. Look here. The C capital. 
then e capital and why not o of of is not capitalized why because you know that uh, uh, whenever you write a title or you go for the um, name of any unit institution or anything the articles and prepositions are not capitalized are not capitalized similarly uh, c and e would be capitalized for example again we talk about a unit of armed forces AK, AK unit. AK stands for Azad Kashmir unit. AK would be capitalized. Utterly, A would be capitalized. So, this is important about the units and uh, the uh, branches of uh, uh, Pakistan Army or uh, Pakistan Navy, whatever. Got it? <laughs> Next one. All geographical references, whenever you talk about the, the, uh, the places, you uh, talk about any geography, uh, geographical places, references, it would, it would be, uh, you need to be careful that uh, your first letter would be capitalized. The Himalayas, the British Empire, um, the North America, South Africa, or in, in this way, whatever uh, reference you are giving about uh, 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 any place for that would be capitalized <laughs> government and judicial bodies it is not necessary that all the government and judicial bodies uh, they need to be capitalized the first letters all the institutions we need to be careful that the first letter would be capitalized federal boat of revenue the supreme court of pakistan again uh, to be noted here that O of OF is not capitalized because again we know that all the prepositions and articles are not capitalized. Otherwise, you need to be very much careful to when you go for the capitalize, uh, capitalization of the institutions. The tropical periods and events. <laughs> events. Let's begin from events. Independence Day, Eid Miladun Nabi, or uh, uh, for example, the Renaissance movement, we talk about any period, we talk about any event, the Renaissance movement, the Pakistan movement, uh, these uh, are the events, the World War, First World War, these are all the events that happened in history that are famous in our life uh, due to obviously some reasons uh, and we always uh, we always need to be careful to make the first letters capital similarly the time period 18th century look here enc capital or the middle ages middle ages mean we talk about 14th century or so for the modern era or when we specify it modern era when we specify it then we will capitalize it so in this way you need to be uh, careful that what is specified specified time periods and zones Again, very much common that all the names of the month and uh, uh, weekdays always would be capitalized. Then uh, it is important CST, Central Standard Time, the C would be capitalized, need to be capitalized. All the full forms of abbreviations, you need to be careful to put them in capital letters. All the full forms of abbreviations, be careful. Next, vehicles. The vehicles, let we are talking about three vehicles. Name of the ships, aircrafts and spacecrafts. Spacecraft, for example, Apollo, F-16. And name of any ship. These three vehicles would always be capitalized. But so far, look here, Honda or car or bike, rickshaw, bus or concerned. These are the basically common nouns. We do not need to put them in capital letter. But, but 
if the writer intends to make them specific, specific, specific one, then you would go for the capitalization like it is. Or if, for example, bus, it means that that is a specific bus that you talk about. Uh, so here, three vehicles, you need to be careful. Ships, aircrafts, spacecrafts, all these capital. Got it? Now, I am going to provide you an activity in which you will be given a paragraph. You have done all the <coughs> rules. You have learned all the rules. How to uh, go to find out or uh, go uh, to search out the mistakes in your paragraph. And now, uh, now this paragraph is given to you. Uh, I am going to help you how to <coughs> find out the mistakes. Uh, I have not uh, provided you any kind of statement here. But in exams, you will be given a statement that the, the following paragraph uh, uh, has got uh, the mistakes uh, in uh, punctuation, pronoun, adjective, or in this way. And you would also go for this statement to find out the following uh, mistakes. But I have not given you any kind of statement and neither I uh, under, uh, did I underline any word that um, mistakes uh, are hidden there uh, because you yourself uh, if uh, then you would try then you would be able to uh, uh, follow all the rules that you have learned and this would be quite a helpful activity let's begin from first of, first of all one of the doctors uh, had told his son, uh, his not to walk. One of the doctor, you know that you have already done that whenever indefinite pronoun one comes in the be beginning of the sentence, <coughs> the next noun would always be in plural form. One of the doctors, one of the boys, one of the girls. So here it needs to be uh, in plural form had told his son or has had told his not to walk not his we do not need to put a possessive case here we need to go for the objective case what is the objective case him uh, objective case of his is him uh, for example them me him her are the objective case so he his is wrong here and uh, again what can be the rule how would you know <laughs> that objective case, case is required here one of the doctors had told told always this is the rule that always after the verb tell and told you need to go for the objective case of pronoun not possessive case got it he had to live and raise the family of eight childrens. Childrens. This S is wrong here. You know that the child is singular and children is the plural form, not <coughs> childrens. I wiped more sweet from my face. Sweet? No. From a from a what? Sweat. S W E A T. It is the mistake of spellings. Got it? Sweat from my face and followed towards Faisal Mosque. Faisal Mosque, it is correct. F capital and M capital. Similarly, pr proper noun I, Islamabad I capital. So it is correct. When I reached there, everybody rose from their seat. Uh, look here, the, uh, pronoun everybody. Here, uh, you know, you have already uh, done that whenever uh, the pronoun, uh, indefinite pronoun buddy comes, uh, 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 or, or, or what, what is the rule to be followed? For example, uh, everybody, somebody, uh, nobody, uh, whenever this indefinite pronoun would be there, you always need to be careful that the uh, pronoun would be singular. Everybody rose from their seats is wrong, from his seat. Because we always take indefinite pronoun, everybody, somebody, <laughs> nobody in singular form. 
from his seeds and then uh, if we are talking about uh, or we need to uh, put um, helping verbs then it would be everybody is working was working got it then they looked at him and seemed he seemed as young like this eldest son like it should be his eldest son and what is the major mistake as young as it like is wrong you know that when we compare two subjects as and as is used it is a basically you can say pair uh, for example he is as beautiful as i am as intelligent as he is so as and as is used not like after that this t needs to be small and put comma after that need to uh, give a pause here after that i returned back this is wrong back is irrelevant here when it is re is added this prefix is added re you do not need to uh, put a back re means back again after that i returned or if it had uh, been in this way that re is skipped then a uh, back was correct after that i turned back got it either turned back or it uh, or it would be returned got it was about 11 o'clock 11 o'clock here put an apostrophe at night and a boy tried to snatch the purse to and then first form of verb it is very much simple infinitive second form is not required the purse the next day here look here <coughs> capitalization t would be capitalized because it is the beginning of the sentence the next day apostrophe need to give a pause <coughs> Abdul Hadi A capital H capital it is correct proper noun distributed the money among the needy and the poor <laughs> the needy t needs to be small the needy and the poor what is the major mistake s is irrelevant here you know that you have already done that whenever we put article the with adjectives the needy needy is adjective poor is adjective for example blind rich if you uh, put article the with adjective it itself becomes a plural noun and then you do not need to add s after distribution i became very pleased very pleased you know that uh, we always used first form or degree of adjectives with very very good very bad but super pleased pleased is also an adjective but why it is pleased because you know that became is a sensory verb it is a linking verb similarly here my son seemed to be very happy not happily adverb is not required happy and satisfied again the same rule that seemed is also a linking verb and sensory verbs you have already done about them the sensory verbs and linking verbs and linking verbs always take adjectives with them no adverb so this is uh, the paragraph that uh, you know that <laughs> mistakes of uh, <laughs> pronouns spellings capitalization punctuation Uh, adjectives uh, and um, uh, verb there are so many mistakes there so many mistakes there so uh, but but in your paragraph in exams only six mistakes would be given uh, let me make you one thing clear six mistakes uh, now after this i am going to <laughs> provide you <laughs> a paragraph for home task this is your home task and uh, uh, by following all the rules that you have done uh, uh, you would be uh, doing this paragraph uh, or uh, then you would solve this paragraph and i uh, i i will send you uh, two more paragraphs on your subject groups and uh, this is your home task and assignment that uh, within 24 hours uh, you would complete uh, these three paragraphs <laughs> and 
you would send me the assignments and I will mark the assignments and uh, then you will be considered present. Uh, so uh, hopefully you have uh, uh, practiced all the rules that already uh, been taught to you and uh, you would follow them all <laughs> till now. Uh, it is all about uh, correction of errors. Allah Hafiz and thank you.